you're a professional vocal athlete, it feels almost impossible to take a rest day. Not only is your instrument a part of your way of making a living, but it's also supposed to be a part of your daily life for joy and conversations with your friends and family. But the recovery principle is one of the most important underutilized principles of training. And I have some hacks, or at least some thoughts you maybe haven't considered yet. Hi, my name is Maddie Tarbox. I'm an evidence-based voice specialist, and this is our vocal athlete series, where we're breaking down the 10 principles of training and looking at them through the lens of being a vocal athlete. The recovery principle refers to the fact that the body cannot repair and rebuild without adequate recovery time. Here's the good news. This doesn't just mean, ah, I gotta take a whole day off from speaking. I mean, that can work. But I want you to consider where you're offering yourself recovery throughout your day. Are you allowing yourself recovery time between sets of exercises? What about in between working sessions at rehearsal? Think of them as vocal naps. If you're dealing with some for real vocal fatigue, research suggests that one to two days max of vocal rest can offer some major benefits. We can't be working all the time. So get creative and find some ways to give your voice the rest and recovery that it deserves. Next up and lastly, we are covering the individuality principle. So if you want to learn more, like and follow.